Now, I'd like to uh, turn on another burner over here to illustrate another principle that involves heat. I think we're done with the candle. And I'll, this burner has about six outlets here, and each one is burning on natural gas. And so we've got a nice hot flame there. And I'm going to take a can, a five-gallon can that's empty, and just set it on the flame. And now I'd like to take some ordinary water and just uh, sort of fill it with water. Or not fill it, but put a little bit of water in. Just enough to, uh, to put about uh, half an, of an inch of water in the bottom. Now, what do you think is going to happen? It'll boil, that's right. And that'll take a while, so I'm going to let that boil, and then I'm going to do something else over here and come back to it. Meanwhile, let's see how our little can is doing over here. So at this point, I can turn off the heat, and I can take the stopper right here, and I can screw it on, and I'll ask you what you think is going to happen. What do you think? Well, nothing's happening so far, but let's uh, help it a little bit by taking it over here and putting it in a tub of ice water. And let's see what happens to it. You think it's going to crush? Gee. Well, it certainly did. And it did that because the steam turned back into liquid water and left a vacuum in the can. And on every square inch of the outside of the can, there's about 15 pounds of force. So there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of pounds of force pushing on the outside of the can by the atmosphere of the Earth. Now, we were going to do this with a larger can. And I have that can over here. It's a 55-gallon oil drum. And in fact, we did uh, crush that can uh, about a week ago. But it made such a loud explosion when it crushed that people thought the building had blown up. <laughs> and we scared a lot of people. So we decided not to do that today. But we did take one of those drums out in the courtyard outside the building. And you see it on the video there. So uh, watch what happens. In this case, we're not using steam. <laughs> but we're actually pumping the air out with a vacuum pump. And if you want to see that very can, there it is. <laughs>